I'm Jennifer Kona. Welcome to Kona's Corner, where we answer questions from our clients and the public about anything related to elder law and estate planning. We want to help people get answers to their questions and get people on the right path when dealing with these issues. So a member of the public wrote in to us with a question about the house. Here's the question. My mom put her assets into a trust when our father passed away. She just passed and Medicaid put a lien on the house. How is this possible? Well, that's a good question. So I'm assuming in this scenario that the mother probably put liquid assets, bank accounts, brokerage accounts, things of that nature into the trust and probably, presumably, left the house outside of the trust, left the house in her name. She probably did that because a house is exempt. It is true that a house is exempt from Medicaid while the person is alive. So you don't need to transfer title to the house. You can still be eligible for Medicaid home care benefits and Medicaid nursing home benefits while owning real property, while still maintaining title to your home in your name. However, that is not the best course of action because when you pass away, Medicaid can put a lien against that house. Medicaid will seek to recover monies paid on your behalf through the Medicaid program when you pass away. They will assert a lien against your estate because that house will be in your estate and they want to be paid back. So that is certainly not the best way to go about this. Um, you want to transfer title to your home to other family members when you're planning for Medicaid benefits so that that lien can't be asserted. So again, you can be Medicaid eligible while owning the real property, but you don't want to. You don't want to have Medicaid paid back. You want to essentially leave that house to your children, other family members, etc. That's the better course of action. So that's probably what happened in this case. Mom went on Medicaid, but didn't transfer her title to the children. That's why there is a lien now, and the family is very upset, of course, about how this could have happened. So you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of all the right tools and rules and what the law allows you to do. There are certain exempt transfers for real property. For example, you can transfer the house to a spouse without any penalty period, to a caretaker child, which is a child who has lived in the house for two years before the parent goes into a nursing home, a sibling with an equity interest, a disabled child. So there's um, a variety of ways to handle this and you have to look at your time horizon and your healthcare needs to know the best options available to you. And the key always is planning early. You always want to plan ahead of a healthcare crisis if at all possible so that you can protect as many assets as possible, including the home, which is typically on Long Island most people's largest asset. So feel free to write in to us with your questions to elder at conalaw.com and please take advantage of it because we always want to help and help people take correct action so that these things don't happen to you. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.